What's going on YouTube? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're going to be talking about some few exciting topics actually, a couple of Latafa news. So Latafa is one of the, I mean it's probably the best brand in terms of like Middle Eastern fragrances. I mean come on, let's be real. They this is this is a perfect comment right here. They never disappoint. Hopefully today is not the exception. So we shall find out very soon, okay? Some very exciting news to talk about, a new Latafa Essed. I saw this one in the convention, and we're gonna be talking about a few other topics as well. So I will be unboxing a few Latafa fragrances while we're at it, and we'll be talking about their new website. So they do have an official Latafa website as well. I'll take you guys through the website, we'll talk about it, and you can actually pre-order the new freaking Essed. Yeah, that's pretty sick. But you can only it's like it's like hidden gem. Seriously, you can't even like find this if you tried to Google it. So um we'll talk about it. What's up, chat? And this website, we do have a code, it's aromatics, 10% off. I mean, come on, guys. Would I not have a code? Like, let's be <laughs> let's be real here. So they do have some of the newer fragrances as well, like Teriyak. Um, Teriyak is the one that's made in collaboration with, uh, I think it's Quentin Beach. Uh, Quentin Beach is known for a lot of fragrances, actually, a lot of good fragrances. I personally haven't tried that fragrance yet, but I did just order it yesterday. So it should be here within the next two days. We're going to be talking about that and seeing what the hype is all about. I'm pretty sure it's a good fragrance. Let's be honest. A lot of their, their fragrances, especially more recently, are hits. Good quality products, has been for a long time. They've kind of been the leader of the pack, essentially, if you will. So let me check what the chats today sent to the day. What did I? Oh my God. This is what I wore. You guys, I have a freaking problem. Look at my Supers collection. <laughs> I didn't want to talk about it yet, man, but uh, uh, Soho. Oh my God. Soho will get you some hoes. Oh my God. I probably just got canceled. No, <laughs> Seriously. And j ladies, if you rock this, you'll get some hoes too. Okay. But no, seriously, this stuff, Soho, got me like two compliments. And at the gym, at the freaking, today was leg day. You can't skip it. Don't skip it, okay? I was doing some squats. A lady passed by me and she said, wow, you smell great. And I was like, I know, I'm wearing Soho. <laughs> no, but um, so Soho is a fragrance that smells a lot like, uh, really there's nothing that smells like it. But it's funny because I had a couple of lists that I was making. And uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Le Mel, or Le Beau Paradise, Le Beau Le Parfum is probably one of my favorite flankers. It's actually becoming my favorite flanker, period. Even better than Le Mole Elixir for me personally at this point in time, okay? I love it. I have a thing for coconut fragrances. The collaboration fragrance that I made with Sphinx is a coconut-based fragrance, so it's no surprise. But that one's more so intoxicating. It's like amber woods. I mean, that's something I would wear on like club and night in Miami. JPG Le Beau Le, Le Parfum. This, however, is legitimately like a better quality version of it. The projection on this is actually stupidly loud projection. And it's an extrait de parfum. So if you enjoy that, this takes that type, type of fragrance, does it at a more uh, high-end scale, but it adds much more facets to it. It's got tobacco, elemi, uh, some gourmand aspects. Soho, check that one out. And yes, you can save Code Aromatics. Genuinely good, though. If you can sample it, you don't have to jump into a full bottle. Sample it. 10% off. Supers.com, I believe it is. Okay, today we're going to crack into two fragrances. On some Gold. I re really, honestly, you know what? I already know what this is. On some Gold. Uh, this is Killian. Love, don't be shy. Okay, giveaway time. I'm not going to open this. I already know what this smells like. Giveaway time. Put down in the actual comment section. Not in the live chat, please, ladies and gentlemen. This is a women's fragrance, but honestly, Love Don't Be Shy is really good. It's sugars, it's cotton, not cotton, marshmallows, etc. Really good fragrance. In the comment section, not in the live chat, hashtag aromatics, no space between anything. So there you go. Giveaway of this bad boy right here. Ensemble Gold. Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. Genuinely a good fragrance, and they knocked it out of the park with this one. But I am going to be unboxing Rave Now White because I don't have this one. This one, I don't know how it made it. It's one of those that I accidentally got a double of, okay? So before we get into that, let me connect with some of you guys and see what's up. Good to see you, Kenneth. Uh, starting to go weird like Jeremy Fragrances? No, bro, not yet. <laughs> We're not big enough yet, Universal. Uh, is do a company any good? They have some good ones. Just like any company, bro, they're gonna have hits and misses. 
Do is good, bro. Uh, Mason Lambert, Tom Ford, Clont. No, I did not see them get redone, redesigned. Sorry. Donna, I'm glad you appreciate them. Set of the day, Angel Share. That's what's up. Perfu, what's happening, man? How you doing, brother? Kingdom Sense, good to see you. Teriyaka is what I wanted them watch guidance to be. I love it. Wow. Okay. Damn, what you wanted that to be. Okay. How much patchouli is in Macadam Elite Elude? Elite Ood. Macadam. Um, off initial impression from what I remember, Kimberly, it's much more vanilla, not much patchouli. I'll have to, we will definitely crack into it this week. Is Do a Company any good or Aslan Oud Blue? Aslan Oud Blue is really good, man. Ricardo, love you, bro. Just make sure to put this in the comment section, not in the live chat, okay? What up, no? Yeah, you're definitely from Detroit, bro. <laughs> How you doing, the mayor? I hope you're better than the last mayor. That's for damn sure. <laughs> God bless you, bro. Good evening. Good evening, Efren. How you doing, man? How do you comment on a regular chat? Um, you leave it in the comment section. I think you might have to wait till after. I think you might have to wait till after this live stream. Bit rate. It's good. Everything is good here. Bangladesh. Love your people, man. Milestone, haven't had it yet. Okay, so I think we're going to go ahead and get started and show you guys, God willing, soon, man. I'm definitely going to come to Dubai soon. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let me show you guys this website. It's latafa-usa.com. This is their official website, okay? Latafa's official website to the United States. A couple things to note and consider when purchasing from this website. Number one, you're guaranteed to get official products, okay? Uh, if you're new to the hobby or if you don't know, there has been a streak of like faked fragrances. It's happened with Harima Sultan, uh, a viral fragrance. Khamra, Khamra has been faked a lot. I mean, you can find those on Chinese website, etc. From this website, you know you're getting 100% authentic. You're getting the real deal, okay? So you never have to question that. The second thing is, is obviously a lot of their new releases, you're going to have most of them are going to be on this website. Some exclusives, etc., uh, things of that nature. So for now, let me show you guys what the highlight of this video is going to be about. Um, it's going to be in regards to Zanzibar. So Esed Zanzibar, you can officially pre-order it now. Low in stock, it says. So pre-order, 100 mLs, use the code, it's less than 49 bucks, 10% off of that, okay? Uh, if you purchase any for, I think, more than $49, it's free shipping as well. And uh, these ship out on March 11. It said that on the main page. So free shippings on orders, $50 uh, plus for US only. So right now they have some of the best prices on a lot of fragrances. And I think this might be like a promotional thing. So I would utilize that immediately, especially if you had a couple that were on your list. They're going to have some of the cheapest promotional prices right now. Okay. Khamra Kahwa is sold out in a lot of places, but they do have it in stock. So let's take a look at that. So there you go. It is in stock and you can use the code, like I said. So 100% real, authentic, no headaches, nothing. So there you go. They've got, let's see what other products they have as well. So Zanzibar, I said Zanzibar, if you don't want to FOMO or you're FOMOing, this is your way to get it all. So they have a couple of other fragrances, as you can see, a lot of the more popular ones. This is supposed to be Dolce & Gabbana, the one. Um, let's see what else. This is Baccarat Rouge Extrait. Rudain is an excellent fragrance. Dry Woods, uh, Dry Inky Oud as well. Najdia, you all know about that. This is a Kirke inspiration, so Fruit Basket Vanilla. This one is a very nice iris powdery fragrance. Unisex, but women, you can get away with this. I mean, look at the prices. It's pretty, it's fair. It's definitely fair. Uh, Oud Najdia doesn't get much love or attention, but it's this Invictus Aqua DNA with Oud. It's very different. 14 freaking bucks. Get out of here, bro. It's different, though. Rave Now for women. Is this... Hang on. Is this the one that I love? Oh, shoot. This is it. Ladies, Burberry Her Elixir. Burberry Her Elixir. Fire. Seriously, this is amazing for 23 bucks. For like, it's going to be 20 bucks after the code. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Burberry Hurry Elixir is rave now for women. Yada is also excellent, obviously. 
Um, gentleman born in Roma, Valentino born in Roma. This is it right here, the original. It's called the uh, Latafa Pride Winner Trophy Cir Circle. <laughs> Silver. 24. Obviously, you can save. I haven't got my nose on this one. And then, obviously, this the new one with the Quentin Biche. So you can save some money on that. Let's see. What else? Quite a few pages. Quite a few pages. Let's see. March 11, that's the first day of Ramadan. There you go, bro. You can fast with um, Zanzibar. <laughs> uh, you can always do that if you would like, bro. But it's up to you. I appreciate it, Mark. Love you too, man. What about more Dumont? They're coming. They're definitely coming. Tampa, Florida. What's up, baby? Kel, I lived in Orlando for like two years, bro. Only blue. How long did it last? It? I rocked it, I think, was it yesterday? I don't remember exactly. Uh, about seven, eight hours. Seven, eight hours. It's very strong in the projection, though. What up, South Florida? How you doing? What would be a good fragrance to layer with Bentley for men intense? Something vanillic, for sure. What's going on, traffic? Traffic, yep, we got a pretty big audience here today. It's pretty big news. Zanzibar. So there you go. If you would like to pre-order Zanzibar, this is your opportunity. Like I said, it's really hard to find even through Google. What you have to do is Latofa dash, um, let's see, Zan, I said Zanzibar. Z Are you going to let me search? Maybe. Zan. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. <laughs> Let's just do Zan. There you go. So search up Zanzibar and you can pre-order your bottle. I don't know how many there is, but shipping starts March 11 or sooner. And let's see what information we can find about this one. So it says, embrace the essence of adventure with Latafa Esed Zanzibar, a fragrance that evokes the spirit of discovery and the allure of exotic destinations, named after the mesmerizing island of Zanzibar, known for its pristine beaches, vibrant culture, and rich history. This fragrance captures the essence of tropical paradise in a bottle. I love tropical fragrances, so this might be another hit, personally. I remember it very vaguely from the event, very vaguely. I wish I actually paid more attention to this one in specific, but very vague. I myself have pre-ordered this, by the way. So should be good. Should be good. A couple of more. This is the home page. This is what it's going to look like. So I said uh, we've got a set a Sadaf collection. Oh, they've got a Sadaf fragrances as well. All right, let's go through a few of them. Saud is not really spoken of much. I have it right there, actually. I don't remember exactly what the DNA is. I don't want to get too off track or sidetracked. Fragrance. Let's see. All fragrance. Let's go back to page two. Maybe I can give you guys really quick some of the inspos. Uh, Qiyam Silver. This is a Tarathi, or not Tarathi, um, Tigar inspired by. Let's see what else can I notice here really quick. The Yaras are excellent. Yara Moy is one of my favorite Yaras. $21. That is ridiculous. Ridiculous. Uh, the original Yara, you can't go wrong with it. I believe this one smells like strawberries and cream, ladies. Yara, the original. This one's a little bit raunchier and sexier. Yara Moy. $21. Velvet Oud. This is, I believe, Ombre Nomad, if I'm not mistaken, the leather leather fragrance. Uh, Latafa Satur is kind of this twist on Tom Ford's Bitter Peach. Um, let's see. Sukrat is one of the best Aqua de Jo Profumo. It is actually, currently. It's a little bit more of a twist, but it's the longest lasting one. Better than George de Profumo. Definitely. So Socrat, $24. That's a steal after the code. Yo, kid you not, this is an excellent fragrance right here. Simply Oud by Latafa. 10% off. Use the code, obviously. It's going to come out to like 34 bucks. This is Armani Code. Armani Code Eau de Parfum. This is a sleeper fragrance. This is a sleeper fragrance. I was going to put this in a list. It's called Simply Oud for men. So Armani Code Eau de Parfum. Let's see what else. What else have we got here that are so? Oh, this is a banger. 17 bucks. Seriously, this is by far the best, one of the best, one of the the top two for sure. YSLY Eau de Parfum. Ladies and gentlemen, if you want to like gift this to your spouse or to your kids and they're in high school or even college, if you're looking for a daily riding fragrance to the gym, office, anywhere, literally, this is it. It's called Sheikh Shiuch Final Edition. They knocked it out of the park with this one for sure. Um, smells pretty high end right off the top. Let's see what else, what else, what else? Rem Silver, it's their version of Ultramall. 
Ragba, this is a must have. If you like woody fragrances, this is a must have. This is like sugar, woods, smoke, incense, fantastic. This one right here, Ra'ed Silver, is it Cedroit Boise? So if you like Cedroit Boise, this is more of like an inspired buy. So man, Sarah's Cedroit Boise. Um, actually, I used to love this fragrance. I used to love Ra'ed Silver, an excellent fragrance for school as well. You can rock that easy. Uh, Ra'ed Oud, I don't really remember too much about. Qa'ad al-Fursan. You guys should have just named this aromatics. Seriously, this was this was my drink of choice on a daily. This is like the the stocking stuffers. You can gift this to literally everyone. Honestly, $17. These are dumb reaches. An excellent fragrance for exactly that. This used to be my glove box banger. Um, really good fragrance. Let's see what else, what else, what else, what else have we got here? Uh, Nashit is Nishani's Ani. Inspired by an excellent fragrance as well. Let me catch up with the chats. Let me put also the website. What up, Nicholas? What's happening? What's a good floral perfume under 30? We'll get, we'll probably get there. Let me, latafa-usa.com. So this is their official website. There you go. All right. Uh, Yash, third year. Yash says, third year medicine student in India. So just a perfume for college, bro. I'm telling you, check out this Sheikh Hashiuch final edition. Easy fragrance. Uh, Musammam, the white and the white. I need to get my hands on. Uh, let's see, let's see. Mohra for men is an excellent Halfetti cedar. Let's see where do they have it. I haven't tried the Mayars. This is a Sedley inspired by. Honestly, the scent profile of this one smells better than Sedley. I just wish it lasted longer. But I could say the exact same thing for the original. This has a little bit more pink pepper than Sedley. If this was a longer lasting fragrance, it would be like home run. This is a sleeper. This one right here, Melaka Tuyur, I believe it's called. Yes, Melaka Tuyur. It's 21 bucks. This is also YSLY, but it's like EDT. It's a little less sweet as Sheikh Hashiuch Final Edition. Both of those are excellent fragrances. That and this, really good fragrance as well. Let's see what else have we got here. So Khamra Kahwa is in stock. So they have that. Uh, Khashabi is good. It's a pretty dry, brittle woods fragrance. They have the original Khamra as well. Jasur, I never really dove too, too hard into it. Hayati Gold Elixir is pretty good. Hayati Gold Elixir is pretty good as well. I don't really remember too much, but I just remember that I used to really enjoy that one. Hayati, I mean, this is the Invictus Aqua DNA. You cannot go wrong with this one. And performance on this is ridiculous. 15 bucks before the code. It's like they're asking you to take it, essentially. So Fakar Gold is 1 million parfum. A loud version of it, actually. Uh, this one, I believe, is a Tubros. Is it, is it uh, Armani C or Armani My Way? Not sure for women. This is also another YSL YADP, another no brainer for sure as well. Uh, Antifakat, Antifakat. <laughs> Don't have that. This Emir right here reminds me of uh, Gumin, Gumin, G U I M I N by Tiziana Terenzi. Actually, a super high quality version of that. If you like Silver Mountain Water by Creed, you're going to love this one. It smells like a, that's kind of what Gumin smells like like silver mountain water, really good. Confidential silver, this one right here is Chanel Allure Ohm Sport. Um, not bad, just wish it lasted a little bit longer. Let's see what else. A, the most addicting fragrance they have is right here. This is called Badi Al Oud Honor and Glory. This stuff is addicting as hell. I don't know what it is, it's like this pineapple cream and uh, this is good stuff. This is a beautiful fragrance for women. I genuinely find this to be more of a women's fragrance. It's sublime. It's like fruit punch body spray, but it lasts much longer than that. It projects actually for a long time. Let me catch up with the chats for a little bit. I have the Qaeda for sauna. I wear it sometimes before sleep, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. It's a no brainer. Super easy. Super easy. Any cardamom rich banger? Absolutely. Qaid. Not Qaid al Fursan, just Qaid. It's the uh, gold bottle. Easy fragrance. Masamam White is a nice beachy summer fragrance. That's awesome. Um, 
ABID, you can easily go with the YSLY DNA. You can impress literally anybody. It's super mass appealing, bro. Um, let's see. Any coffee fragrance on their site? We're going to continue going through the website and we'll see. I'm sure they do have some. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coffee. I mean, Khamra Qahwa. Khamra Qahwa is uh, coffee. Khamra Coffee. All right, let's continue. I'm sorry, guys. Wa alaikum as salam, Bulent. How you doing, brother? Always good to see you here, man. I love you guys, Eddie. Thank you, bro. Seriously. I'm blessed to have the love. Seriously. Thank you. Latafa Infini Rose. Mason Alhambra's Infini Rose is one of the best rose cheapies you can buy. What up, Siwa? <laughs> Please post this. I missed up. A, uh, no problem, bro. It is posting. It is posting. Don't worry about it, bro. Mason Alhambra, Infinity Rose. Infinity Rose is a must-have if you like rose fragrances. Seriously. Uh, your thoughts on Oud Blue? It's a great one. It's a great one. I got them from Dubai. My chains. From some gold store. Love Super's Memories, but uh, oh, Memories Gold. That's the yeah, that's vanilla cream, melted vanilla ice cream. Amazing. Spell the coffee fragrance. I got you, bro. There it is. It's coffee underlying to this whole uh, cinnamon apple pie with coffee. It's pretty good. Is Arabian Oud only black feminine? No, I would not call it feminine at all. I would call this more so masculine, really. Love and respect you guys, too. Not just the people of Portland, Oregon. All of you guys. But thank you, Daniel. Neve, salam, brother. Fahab Rasasi, how is it worth getting ice? They are quite different, to be honest with you. They are quite different. No problem, Krom. Thanks for the suggestion, Anaqid. Latafa Liam, great beauty, Kate. Yes, it is. I don't have any experience with it, but yes, it is. All right, let's continue on with some of these fragrances so we can get a little bit more of an idea. Badir al Oud Amethyst. This is uh, an Ishio Atomic Rose twist. It's almost like if Oud Kohl had a baby with Atomic Rose. It's a little bit raunchier than that natural rose fragrance. So Mason Alhambra's Infinity Rose, they're, it's a sub company. So it's essentially the same company. They killed it with that one. With this one, it's more so like this incense take on Atomic Rose. Still sexy, but it's much more raunchy and different. So Ana Abiyad Rouge, this is a Baccarat Rouge type of DNA. Ana Abiyad Leather, I don't know exactly what's, I don't remember. Uh, Ana Abiyad, period. Yeah, Ore Parfum, this is Herba Pura. Herba Pura, and it's a really good one, actually. So some of these El Noble lines, oh, this is a must-have. This is a must-have. Ana Shama by Latafa is a Addicting. Okay, look. This stuff right here, I don't know what the hell the deal is with all of this, but I know what the deal is with the fragrance. This is Anisha's better than Anisha's Paragon for me personally. It takes the fruits and it amplifies it. Think of like plum jam, plum jam with a little bit of incense, Palo Santo, and peppers. Intoxicating stuff. And the performance on this, 12 plus hours. Seriously, try it. Projection. My sister damn near stole this three times. I stole it back from her ass, <laughs> but I need to get her another bottle. I need to get her a bottle. So, yeah, unisex, very unisex, super addicting stuff. Uh, Initials Paragon is also excellent. This is much more of a twist, a must have for sure. And Nashama. Let's see what else. Edgewood. Edgewood is a great fragrance that surrounds itself around like this rosewood. So, it smells a little bit like rosewood, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's been Spend some let me see. I have it here in my recommendations for women's fragrances. So here's Edgewood. Yeah. Oh my God. I cannot believe how close these have been, and I haven't really put it. So Rosewood by Al Arabi Al Oud is one of the best jammy rose. It's like if you took uh, distilled, uh, you know, not very pretty distilled jammy rose quality, like freshly distilled rose petals, and you mixed it with some woods. That's what Edgewood is. Yeah, it's different. And honestly, this bottle has aged phenomenally. When I first got it, I wasn't as in love with it. And it could potentially be that my taste has changed or once I actually pinpointed what it was. Yeah, it smells much more expensive. So Arabian Oud's Rosewood for 24 bucks. That's ridiculous. This is YSL Libre, Al Ausaf, uh, 26. This is, you guys, like, this is straight from the dome, okay? <laughs> um, 
This is Paco Rabanne's, uh, not, is it fame? Paco Rabanne's fame, the mango. This is actually pretty addicting as well. I rock this fragrance, actually. It's got this mango. Something about it is really good. 24 bucks. Ajayib, this is a coffee-based fragrance, more so around this cap cappuccino. So you have to like sweet cappuccino fragrances. Ajayib Dubai, this is the coffee fragrance. So there you go, brother. Whoever was asking, and I said, Khamra Kahwa, this is much more of a coffee-centric fragrance. So Ajayib Dubai Black. All right. Saroud, you know what? Let me do you guys a solid. Let me grab Saroud really quick and spray this bad boy on to show you guys that I actually do have it. And I bought all of these Latafas, okay? So here it is, Saoud. Comes in a box like this. There it is. I don't remember, so let me just spray this on. And let's look at the notes together. I remember that saying that, yeah, this is good. So let's see, notes of this fragrance include orange, mandarin, bergamot with jasmine and roses. And then there's a base of jasmine, wood, musk, and oud. This is good. I've smelled something like this before. And whatever I've smelled is Middle Eastern, I think. And it's pretty expensive. This smells good. This smells really good. But there's more to it than the notes. I'm not pinpointing exactly what it is. But the opening of this one is actually pretty addicting. It's got some... The fruits are definitely there. Slightly sweet. Aromatic oud, for sure. This is good. This is going to bother me until I pinpoint it. But I've smelled this before, but not very common. Honestly, this is giving me marriage vibes by Ahmed Al Maghribi. But it's not. It's obviously it's not going to be an you know inspired by of that. This has oud, an inky quality of oud. Think of like oud maracuja. It's like oud maracuja, except not as. Oud prominent. I get like that fruity top with dry inky oud and some florals. This is actually really good. You know what? Hold on. I have oud maracuja right here. It's not going to be as strong. Like the uh, oud maracuja is going to have ingredients that at this price point you just really can't replicate, okay? About oud maracuja. Yeah, no, no, no. No, no oud maracuja is much more inky. So this is like more, um, more Western. No, no. It's in that family of fragrances. Okay, that's what I'm going to put it as. I'm not going to tell you guys that this is a definitive clone of it, but that's kind of where my mind went. So not bad. Some fruits, some oud, a little bit inky, uh, slightly animalic. By no means is it as high quality as that one, but it still smells expensive. Uh, and it's not going to be as animalic as oud maracuja. So a more Western take on that whole Fruits, oud, fra excellent fragrance, an excellent fragrance for the price point that it's at. And this is called Saud, Asdaf, Saud, Ode Parfum. Excellent fragrance, unisex as well. All right, let's move on to the next. Um, okay, I think that's it. That's it. Badi Al Oud, you guys already know this. And he shows oud for greatness. And I have this fragrance right here, Rave Now White, first impressions. I'm just going to tell you guys whether or not I think this is good. Saud is actually, you know what? Let me spray this on. Skin. Uh, quite different. Quite different on skin, actually. We'll let that one dry down a little bit. So here we go. First time I ever crack into this. It's still going in that territory, though. It's still going in that territory. Floral rose, inky oud. And fruity top. It's good. It's really good. The vibes. Not a clone. Not a clone. Here we go. Oh, damn. This is good. Oh, damn. This is good. Where have you been? <laughs> Literally in a box sitting right there. This is good. Immediately, I think I look at the box and, or the presentation. I'm like, Inicio's Musk Therapy. It's musky, it's white florals, it's fresh, it's got some citruses. This is actually really good. All right, so I've got Saroud on one hand, I'm going to spray Rave now white on the other. This is unisex as well. Ladies, you can easily rock this one. Yeah, this is an uplifting fragrance. Fresh, creamy, is this Hachivat? I'm getting Hachivat vibes on the skin. 
Hachi vibe, maybe Sedrat Boise vibes. Is that like uh, black currant pineapple? It's not smoky by any means. It seems pretty unisex. So that's what I get right off the top with Rave Now White for now. So Saud still smells that vibe. Aromatic oud, inky oud. Yeah, really good. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is latafa-usa.com, the official Latafa website. Anything you get from here is 100% authentic. Um, code aromatics, pre-order that Zanzibar if you're ever so interested in it. And they've got new launches. They will always have, they will always have the new launches from my understanding. I mean, I would assume that that's the case. I believe they just launched this website not long ago. So I'm sure that they will come in like a wrecking ball with the rest of their fragrance or their platform very, very soon. Okay. So let's connect with the chat. What up, Jared Miller? God bless you for the super chat, bro. Very good to see you here as well. Thank you, brother. Vintage radio is more casual than Nashama. I agree. They're both great. They are both great. Nashama has a lot more um, of that those jammy plum. Saud is excellent. And Rave Now White is more than what I expected. I really did not expect much at all from this because the bottle is a little bit plasticky. But it keeps the price point relatively fair on this one you can find this for pretty cheap the Saud smells expensive this one smells pretty expensive yasmin yes and nashama is fantastic both smell amazing yeah musamam white i'll have to get my hands on that is that better than vintage radio so vintage radio is uh more subtle and subdued nashama is a lot more jammy i just smells horrible in my honest opinion i respect that not everybody's going to enjoy everything. At first, I wasn't a big fan of that. But when I saw the resemblance to Rosewood, then you really wouldn't like Rosewood because it's actually ridiculously close to it. Liam Gray is nice. That's what's up. Amber is great. Herba Pura and Amber Oud Gold. Okay. Grisha now. The best dupe is Latafa Liam Gray. Okay. I have their niche collection as well. Their Imarati. I bought uh, I've almost all, not all of them, but this one is a, I think, to date, the best Gris Charnel inspired by. Funky bottle, funky bottle, but yeah. And then uh, we have some of the other Latafa niche. Let me show you guys the niche brand since you guys are here. Let me show you guys the Emirati. Why not? So the other two that are here include the Mugle Forts. And then this is a vanillic unisex but slightly femme leaning it's vanilla and white florals some jasmine i get a lot of jasmine i think this might be i'm not sure exactly what this is inspired by uh the notes would suggest minuit et demi by um fragrance de bois or i don't think it's love don't be shy no and then we have the female toline and toline smells like a take on intense cafe okay a take on it it's actually a pretty good fragrance and khalid Khaled, I haven't pinpointed either. It smells like an expensive Udi fragrance, essentially, is what it is. But pretty crazy looking bottles. I mean, look at that. So I don't know if these are going to be available on the website, but we'll see. We shall see. Yo, this is really good. Saud is good. Addicting stuff. It's got those, those fruits and Oud combination. Is That's why I drew that resemblance to Oud Marcuja. Is because of the fruits and the specific inky oud. I have too many Angel Share clones like you, like everybody else, man. <laughs> but I've decided Khaled Intoxicate is my favorite. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. Is there a strong with you oud clone? There is by Fragrance World. I've done a video on this one already. I think it's a fantastic fragrance, brother. Yes, yeah, sir. Not only intense is great. Loud, long-lasting, go for it. Code work on all the Tafa website. I don't know if it's going to work on the international. Try it, but I think it's, for now, going to be for the USA. Rave now, white is a flop to me. I respect that. It's not bad. It's kind of getting creamy coconutty now. It's different. Do they have a side effect clone? Not to my knowledge. Latafa, not to my knowledge. I'm waiting on Hannah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a really good one, man. Rave now white. 
is bitter citrus. Sure, like grapefruit, et cetera, in the opening. Yeah, I agree. I got an Orgos fragrance and the color leaks really bad. Yeah, absolutely, Efren. Send me a DM or text me, bro. Text me. Have you tried reaching out to them? If not, we'll reach out to them together, bro. That's a lot of money to spend for sure. So text me, bro. Dude, I haven't got my hands on it. There's the PDM Perseus. There is Teriyak. I'm going to get my hands on, inshallah. Stronger with you, tobacco as well. And uh, could be reflect. No, not reflection, man. It's creamier. It's uh, creamy musk citrus. There is no, like, uh, not much fabric softener vibe, I guess. <laughs> Assalamu alaikum, alaikum salam. I want the creamy part of side effect that stays on clothes after a day without the initial spice tobacco. Yo, Narcotic Delight by Inicio. Narcotic Delight by Inicio, the new one, Khaled. Try that one. It's in a similar vein without that those spices. I know sometimes those spices can come off a little bit too much, specifically the cumin in that fragrance. Qiyam Silver, I have, I have Qiyam Silver. It's Tigar. God bless you, Brian. Thanks for stopping by, man. They send to Brazil. I'm sure they have a website that does send to Brazil. And if not, there's other retailers that will sell internationally as well. Um, let's see. Let's continue on. I got to scroll down a little bit. Thoughts on the top of Massa? Probably the best after. Well, it's between Massa and Khanjar, but it really depends on how much you want to spend. They're the best Ganymede inspired buys. I personally don't really care too much for Ganymede. But they are the best for sure. Massa and that one is really close to each other. So you probably, yeah. Uh, Coral Fantasy. It's not Coral Fantasy. It's just Born in Roma. And it's called Latafa's Winner Trophy Silver. It's just the original Born in Roma. Honestly, Zamil, that, there you go. Latafa's uh, Trophy Silver. Also this, this is an extremely... Good cheapy for the summertime. It's called Sheikh Al Shiyuh Final Edition. It's on the website, and I think it's only 17 bucks or something like that. It's crazy. Bless you, Jared. Yes, please hit the likes. Uh, yes, there is. It's called the Ishaqat Al Layl Forever. Uh, let's see. Let's see. For Min New York, Shaman or Moon Dust. I don't know any of those fragrances, bro. Sorry to let you down with that one, man. Asad or Enigma Un, which would you suggest? There are two different audiences for both of those fragrances. I'm going to suggest whatever caters to your taste more. If you like spicier and much more attention or loud and like being in people's face, Enigma Un is going to do that for you. If you like something that's more consistent, smooth, and vanillic, Latav is Esed. I think they're both great fragrances and they're both great options. It really just depends on what you like more. So do you want to punch, you know, you know, uppercut people? Enigma Un. Do you want consistency and more vanilla? Latav is Esed. Okay, let's continue on. Khaled, that's you. I guess this is you then, bro. What's up with your skirt though, man? <laughs> that's funny, bro. Eddie, okay, Altair or Memories Gold? Oof, which one is better? That's hard, man. I would get both, honestly. But Altair, they kind of go in two separate directions. One is ambery, warm, uh, you know, rich. And the other one is bright, uh, white florals, the orange blossom, and amber green. Uh, just got Dumana Axon Intense and Axon Solo. They are five. Bro, they, I swear they're crazy. Those are amazing. They really are. There's so many good fragrances. Nowadays, it's ridiculous how many good fragrances are for like less than 50 bucks that it's so hard to justify going and spending like 150 on a designer. But there are still good designers out there, especially nowadays with all the elixirs. I don't know about you guys, but I'm absolutely in love with a lot of the elixirs. Sure, there's some of them that are like reaches and it's like, really? This is what you came out with? But a lot of them are really good. Trinidad, what up, man? How you doing, bro? I'm sorry if I skipped over your comments, ladies and gentlemen. I'm literally just going through random and just picking as I scroll down. Top three favorite oud perfumes in your collection, West and East. East. I'll give you one right off the bat that I absolutely love. This is Cambodian oud with sandalwood. I freaking love this stuff. It's called Elite Blend. Oh, it's called Elite Blend, and this is the brown one. This is from Oud Elite. Elite Blend Brown. 
love it. It's eternal, but it's very animalic. Another oud fragrance that I absolutely love is going to be Al Farid by Al Arabi Al Oud. This is um, pink pepper and oud rather than the typical saffron. So it still gives you that similar or familiar spicy nuance to the oud saffron combinations, but different, much more masculine. I like this one a lot. So there you go. Those are two. And then um, the last one would be, I'll leave it up to you, okay? <laughs> Ajwad equals Dior Oud Rosewood. If it smells like Rosewood by Al Arabi Al Oud, then yeah, probably. I haven't got my nose on that one, but to me, it smells a lot like Rosewood by Al Arabi Al Oud, Arabian Oud, basically. So potentially, what up, Hassan? Uh, Haas, Achi, you ever get your nose on Oud Kuhl by Guerlain? Yes, I have. It's very polarizing. It's not for everybody. It smells like Kuhl, like it's got like this carbon dust smell. I think it's good. I think it's very different with incense, rose. It's very different, bro. It's a very acquired taste. You have to be into Bakhur, incense burning. If you're into incense burning, I think you'll appreciate that one. Inky, uh, dark, charcoal. It's different. It's definitely different. And there's some houses that did the dupe of it. Asadi equals Swavaji elixir with more vanilla. What is the new? I said duping again. Katrina, I don't know exactly what it's duping, but it's supposed to be this tropical fragrance. I'm off for tropical fragrance. I love uh, the notes of like papaya, guava, passion fruit. It's, it's everything. $70, $17 is fucking insane for what you're getting. I agree, bro. I agree. Probably are some H24 clones, bro, but I don't think any of them from Latafa. Get is the only fragrance that I ha had to scrub off. The mineral, the mineral is what, yeah, <laughs> some people love it, man. Uh, that's what sets me off as well, is the mineral nuance from that. Good evening, brother. You got your nose on Scandant from Fragrance World. No, I have not, but Scandal is fantastic. If that one gets any close, it's going to be good. Classy Freshies. Absolutely. Yeah, this is... I mean, bro, this is an excellent classy freshie. It depends on how you classify classy. Is sweet classy to you? Do you want just like barbershoppy type of fresh, like lavender aromatic fresh? So it really depends on the direction that you classify it as. Um, I have smelled the new Tom Ford vanilla fragrance. I'm not into that one at all. I think it smells, these cheapies blow that sh out of the water, seriously. And Nishama Capri smells amazing. It sure does. It sure does. Strong too, heavy on the lavender. Very nice fragrance, though. Uh, Nitro Red and Axon Intense. Which do you like more, and are they for different situations? Uh, Nitro Red smells like lifesavers, like gummy bears and lifesavers. Dude, Nitro Red is fant fire, bro. Axon Intense. Which one are we talking about? Oh, that's the Stronger With You. I would go for Nitro Red first, and they are definitely different situations. I would rather wear this during the date. Intense, and I would wear Nitro Red for a daily banger. Compliment worthy as hell. What was a Libre clone? That's a good, yes, it is. Uh, let's see. Fragrance, women's fragrance. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? Oh, okay, it's not under here. Aziza. I haven't seen Aziza before. Where's the Libre? I think it might be on page two. Hmm. Libre, come on. Next page, and then, huh? Okay, I must be missing it, bro. But it looks a lot like the bottle as well. Oh, there it is. Al Ausaf. If I'm not mistaken, this is a Libre clone. Okay. Have you tried 1505 from the Le Collection series? I have not. Gucci Guilty Elixir? No, not yet. Uh, any improvement with the Y Elixir? So I do have that full review coming out and the first impressions. For me personally, I like it. I like it personally. Uh, reason I like it is because the Elixirs are going more Middle Eastern. But this one is very specific and different. It's not going to be for everybody. It does kind of take the soapy nuance and enhance it a little bit more. But it's much more than just that. It adds like this piney uh, balsamic undertone to it as well and incense. Kind of reminds me personally of specifically Somali and Bahur. Because in the region of Somalia, they have very specific Bahur... Uh, I think it's called the Unsi, Unsi Bahur, Somalian Unsi Bahur. And they use these floral nuances, sandalwood, incense, and a lot of frankincense. And that's what it smells like to me personally. Uh, it's definitely more challenging, but for the average, it's going to smell like a more soapier version. 
and maybe some incense, but I get a lot of the accords. I appreciate it. I do appreciate that fragrance. And it got me compliments, believe it or not. So it really depends on your personality with that fragrance. I don't think it's going to be a mass appealer, and I don't think it's going to be a better improvement for the masses. For the masses, I don't think it's better. For me, I like it. They did you dirty with the bottle. <laughs> Sorry, Khaled. Sorry. The fragrance in it is good, though. So it's about what's inside that counts. Um, Amber is great. Sorry, bro, I haven't got my nose on this one. Uh, and watch interlude black iris. What do you think? I think it's a great fragrance, but it does get kind of boring when I bought it I thought I was gonna wear it a lot and I love the iris. It's definitely a step up from interlude the original But um, I kind of just put it back on the shelf and it's just been sitting there for a while Opinion on why I sell baby cat one week later for me. It's too peppery and comes off eggy on my skin for me It comes off normally honestly suede uh, leather my final verdict on that is the clones get too close to buy the original. The clones get too close to buy the original. I bought the original. I love the original. There are some minor differences. There definitely are some minor differences. But uh, yeah, the clones are too close. That one's been like sad. What up, Puerto Rico? Trini man, hey. Memories gold, safe blind buy for Altair user. It's like the night version of Altair. Yes, I would say yes. That's probably one of the safest ones from them. But they do have an aquatic fragrance that I'm going to wear tomorrow, and it's called Endless Sea. This stuff is going to be one of the easiest fragrances to get into, much more than just uh, an aquatic fragrance. And I was actually speaking to, I forget who it was, um, but the way that they make their fragrance is actually pretty interesting. They're hundred percent if compliant and they're extrait. So the concentration on these, there's no step up from this. It's literally from this to an oil, but their musk and their amber that they use is a specific proprietary blend. So I remember saying that there is a funk to this house. Like if you think about unwatched fragrances, there's something that smells very consistent with all of them. It's because they have a proprietary blend for whatever note they use. Uh, that's found in common with a lot of them. It could be the musk, it could be the ambers, etc. The same thing with this house. And usually what ends up happening with that is you get hooked and you want another and another and another and you find that consist. It's a really good uh, fragrance house, genuinely. Quality bang for buck as well. Supers. Um, beast mode cheapies, please. Dude, seriously? Right here. Anashama. Beast mode. This one and the blue one. Caprice. This is plum, woods, peppers, incense, so damn sexy and unisex. And the blue one is YSL, um, Lanvi Delon Blue Electric. Also beastly stuff. I haven't tried it yet, JC. What is the new asset? I don't know yet. But you better believe I'm going to get it ASAP. Inshallah. There you go. Eddie is also saying that Caprice smells amazing. I agree with you, bro. All right, let's continue. Da, 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 da. Go down. Do you like designer fragrances more or dupes? Honestly, Hanan, at this point, I don't care. I don't care what it is. I like a good smelling fragrance, a quality smelling fragrance. That's the current state that I'm in. If it's niche, X, I love niche. Niche is number one for me. But in designer and chibi realm, they're kind of like they're like teeter-totten at this point in time, honestly. Sometimes some designer will come out with like an absolute banger and then sometimes these cheapies will impress me and then they'll have like a streak where they're just like, okay, we're kind of just dying down now. So I would say that it's almost, almost neck and neck. Maybe a little shy of designer quality for a lot of these. Well, quality, damn near designer, but DNAs, et cetera. Yeah, man, they're there with it. So honestly, it really just depends. I like a good fragrance, period. Um, I bought some fragrances that you recommend, dude. You have a spectacular talent to describe. Thank you, bro. It's my passion. Seriously, it comes from the heart. Not exaggerated. It comes directly from, I don't script. So thank you very much, bro. What's up, brother? Which one do you think is better? 007 versus you are drugged by Amir. Uh, I haven't tried 007. Your drug is not bad. If you like the original. Um, loved your fragrance world, Saudi Arabia vid, bro. I bet your nose was so, oh my God, bro. There's more coming, Keezy. There's much more videos for Saudi Arabia coming, actually. 
Um, I still have a vlog coming. It's a lot of work to edit these videos, guys. But I love it. I love it. Thank you for putting me on on Umo. Oh, yeah, bro. Womo, Salvatore Ferragamo, Fire, Tiramisu, and Broxen. Lion's Pride, God bless you, bro. May God grant you the $2 times 500. I was going to say times two, but that's four bucks. <laughs> God bless you, bro. Thank you. Uh, thank you, bro. What up? What up, BL? If you had to pick only one Latafa fragrance, which would it be? Anashama. Ooh, that's rough, bro. That's rough because I love honor and glory. That's rough. <sighs> Why you got to do that? Why have you done this, bro? Why? <laughs> it's between those two. Honor and glory and Al Nashama. And see, you guys, they both have like this tropical vibe. I'm all about that. It's weird because I like these sexy, dark fragrances. But tropical fragrances just hit different, man. They hit different. You will stand out. Top five mango fragrances. Uh, mango and coffee, Vertus Narcosis. Um, I really love Blockade by Mind Games. There's also, uh, I'm not going to lie, this Dubai for women smells, it has a decent amount of mango. It's not really a mango-centric fragrance, but I have these fragrances, you guys. It has some mango in it. It's actually pretty addicting as well. What else is another mango fragrance that I have? That's there's, there's not really too many mango fragrances in general. Oh, Cruz del Sur by Zerjoff as well. Cruz del Sur 2. Milky mango, frothy milkshake. Wow. Milkshake. Cruz del Sur 2 by Zerjoff. There you go. Those are the mango ones that I like personally. And then Profumum Roma, I think Dulcis and Fundo. No, that's orange cream. Those are good. Any Gisada clones available? No, Nelson, unfortunately. The Tafatara Gold is YSL, YSL Libre Intense. Thank you, Katrina. I definitely want to grab that one then as well, because as you can see, YSL Libre for women is in my collection. It's a really good women's fragrance. The new Devotion is also fantastic. I love that. Let me take this screen down really quick. I personally really enjoy a lot of women's fragrances. From uh, Carolina Herrera, this is the blush. I plan on picking up the elixir. Uh, what else? A daily driving fragrance for women. Burberry London, or is this London Dream? Yeah, London Dream. If you're looking for a white floral fragrance with some citruses at the top for a daily banger, this is it. About six hours of performance, but still, you can rock it every single day. So, <clears throat> a lot of lists coming soon, Ashok. A lot. I just recorded a bunch. Any S-Boy clones? <laughs> no, brother. <laughs> I've never tried S-Boy. I do want to try it. Latafa Caprice, good for summer. I wouldn't really say summer days. Maybe summer nights you can get away with it, but it's a pretty rich DNA. It's a pretty rich DNA. It's got some uh, fougere, uh, barbershop-y vibes. Sundus is gorgeous that you just passed. Sundus. Let's see. Sundus. Oops. So this is one of these fragrances. I kind of want to try Iman and the other one. I'll be definitely dabbling into a bit more women's fragrances for sure. Raith or Esad, I still have to taste, test Raith. Uh, I'm going to be testing Raith tomorrow or after this week. Uh, Abraj Viking, the best interlude or uh, Creed Viking, the best. I am reading off of the YouTube chat, brother. I haven't tried the new Qa'id Intense. There is a new one coming, Chrome, a clone, but no almond. I don't know if they're going to do, if there's almond in their original fragrance and they're duping, it's going to be there for sure. But there is a new clone for that coming very soon. Khair Pistachio is so good. For me personally, bro, affection is where it's at for that whole young pistachio DNA. This is also very addicting. Are clone houses too scared to clone Jeremy fragrance? I don't know. Are you guys too scared? <laughs> Probably not. Let's not even go there, bro. <laughs> Probably not. Uh, how close are Muff Imperial to PDM? It's a little bit raunchier. If I'm being honest, I like that one more than the original. Uh, Delina Exclusive Imperial, Club Dinui Imperial. See, this is a fragrance that I've had ladies purchase that have no experience with fragrances like this. And they go and they buy it as an inspired buy. And I'm like, just trust me, buy it. 
And they come back and thank me, every single one of them. And they say, I honestly love this and I like the presentation even more. It's cuter than the original, which looks like old ladyish. I'm not gonna say that the original is not good though. I love Deline Exclusive, but that's for whatever it's worth. That's the experience. Atiyah Sheikh Private and A1. I don't remember, but I remember Private being one that was good. Just that. That's all I remember about that, bro. Set of the day, instant crush. You smell good, Kathy. So let's just recap on the giveaway that I started in the beginning. I didn't really announce it uh, enough. Ensemble Gold is a part of the giveaway. I'm going to be doing this one. This is the second bottle that I have. I'm not going to even unbox it. This is Killian's Love Don't Be Shy. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is make sure to like, subscribe the vid to the channel, obviously. Please make sure you're subscribed. I, I will check on that. You're bad at no, I'm just playing. Anyways, and in the comment section, you want to put hashtag aromatics. No space because I put it in this uh, counter that essentially just you know reads it up so there cannot be a space. And in five days from today, I'm going to announce the winner for the giveaway. So five days, hashtag aromatics in the comment section, not in the live chat. I know a lot of you guys are going to try and put it in the live chat right now. The comment section will be enabled after this live stream. So hashtag aromatics, like and subscribe, and that's it. You're in it. In five days, make sure to put a reminder to check the community tab because I will post a screenshot of the winner for that fragrance. So it's Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, the best inspiration of it. Okay, James, this is the website. And then you can save with code aromatics. There you go, bro. Um, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I'm going to take this comment down now. Sundus is like La Via Belle with Oud. It's so good. So then could it potentially be La Via Belle or Oud? Now I have to get it because I need to compare it with, uh, no, this isn't uh, La Via Belle Oud. It's called Extreme or like Stream or something like that. It has Oud in it. So yeah, I'll be grabbing Sundus and testing that. We'll see. We shall see. Is Grandeur Iconic Elite better than Nashama Caprice? No, no, no. No. Can you hear me? No. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Shama Caprice is definitely better. This is damn good. Saud is really freaking good. I get like those fruits and oud. Dry inky oud. Smells much more expensive, you guys. And uh, Rave now. Bitter citruses like grapefruits. White musks and vanilla. So Saud is where it's at. Unisex. Mango. Ambassador men. Yeah. Quad Intense's Givenchy Boisse clone. Ooh, heavy on the iris. Ooh, okay. Let's continue. Let's continue. Best clone house. So Hanan, I, I think that it's no surprise to a lot of people that Latafa has some of the best clones, period. They do have some twists, originals, inspirations, etc. cetera. Um, right after that, I would say the runner-up, Fragrance World. Easily, hands down, going to be that. But then there are some other star players like Rosasi. There are other players like Khadlej. There's like uh, new up-and-coming brands, Rehan, Ahmed Al Maghribi. But even them, they do like twists, etc. So for the most part, those are going to be the, the you know, just powerhouses of like that whole genre of fragrances. And then you have like the smaller side companies like Alexandria Fragrances and the Dua brand. For me personally, that's kind of my tiering system that I would do. But they're all they all have their their pros and their cons for sure. Are Muff Legacy any good? Wearable for summer days. That's a relatively older fragrance. I don't remember honestly. Uh, Jazzy Gold was an office inspired fragrance. Okay. Nabil Earth. Nabil has those fragrances are actually pretty high end smelling. They do have a little bit of some like animalic nuances. I don't know if this is the one that I opened, but I'm just talking about the two that I opened that are a part of that series for Nabil fragrances. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Dawood here. I've been watching many channels, but no one has mentioned Ahmed Al Maghribi bin Sheikh. Wow, that is an excellent fragrance. Bin Sheikh is an excellent fragrance, bro. Got it while in Mecca, Amber, Rose, and Oud. Bin Sheikh is phenomenal but so is bin safir i think it is uh, let's see all of these bins bin amir 
Bin Amir, Bin Sheikh, and then there's the other one. They're excellent fragrances for sure. Uh, best first niche, first niche fragrance to buy? Parfums of Marley Layton or one of the PDMs for sure. So this is great. I think you will love it. Okay, let me send this. Son dos. My top edge mall fragrance. Oh, right off the bat, bro. Um, evoke gold. Evoke gold. I have tried mocha wood. I'm not the craziest about that fragrance, but a lot of people love it. What other floral women's perfume do you recommend? We'll get into that in a second. Let me just grab this. Uh, God bless you with the super chat. Peaceful tiger. May God give you and grant you 10 times more peace and super chats. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Okay, okay. I see you mentioned on Nishama. But what about Vintage Radio? Vintage Radio is, it's closer. So Vintage Radio, Philip, is closer to Anisha's Paragon. But El Nishama is more of a twist. I like twists a little bit more, bro. It just keeps things a little bit more interesting. It's a jammier plum. So that's what I like most about Anisha's Paragon is the plum. So it literally emphasizes the best part of that fragrance, in my opinion. Uh, what's that Oud Kuhl clone, brother? It's this right here, bro. Where is it? Where is it? L'Imaginaire. L'Imaginaire by Khadlej is Oud Kuhl. Let me, let me just type it out for you. Janaire. This is it. You can get this one on beautyhouse.com. I do have a code with them as well. Aromatics, of course. <laughs> So yeah, this is actually like spot on, bro. That stuff is expensive as heck. Very specific DNA though, man. Is Oud for Glory a safe blind buy? If you like Oud Saffron, yes. Otherwise, no, Hanan. I would not say so. Neeb, I want to say thank you so much for once you got me hooked on Mason Alhambra for the Tom Fords. I've been going crazy buying everything. Hey, man, don't go crazy, okay? But yeah, they're good. <laughs> I hope you enjoy them, bro. How about Rasasi Deep Blue? Rasasi Deep Blue is one of my favorite ones from the new ones. It actually does. A brother commented on the comment section was saying, do you think it's close to Moroccan leather by um, Al Muhammad? What is it called? I have it. Memo Paris. And sure, it does get pretty close. It's Oris, Iris, Rudy, um, and leather in the dry down with some citrus at the top. This smells expensive. Deep Blue. I need to try ATH fragrances. I agree, man. I agree. I agree. I need to try them. Hopefully, they'll become more available. Shokran Akhi, you're more than welcome, bro. I didn't catch it. What's Asad Zanzibar copying? So it's not saying that it's going to copy anything per se, and I don't know exactly what it's going to be copying, but it's a tropical fragrance. I just briefly got my nose on it during the convention, but we will find out soon. You can pre-order on this website, latafa-usa.com, and use code Aromatics to save some cash. So pre-orders will be sent out by March 11, if not sooner. Mm. Bro, is Black Phantom date night worthy? 100%. 100%. You're more than welcome, James. Mm -mm. Best summer fragrance for party and clubs. Currently, I'm using a layering combo of Hawass and 9 p.m., but I'm bored. Sometimes... Also want to use uh, Pandora Wafer. For me personally, man, I would go with something like um, uh, this right here. Bruges Mysterious for me. It's uh, like a twist of Baccarat Rouge and Herba Pura. So fruit basket, sponge sugar, really different. Or I would go for Instant Crush by Mancera if I wanted something that's loud, club banger, etc. Otherwise, check out Nitro Red. It's not bad. Just make sure to spray that a lot. It's a cheapie as well. And you could easily go clubbing with that all freaking day. And Nashama is good. You can also layer that, the plum Palo Santo. I would personally suggest you layer that with your Hawass. That might be also a great option as well. Best Kalimat clone. I don't really know one, bro, for Kalimat. Kalimat black, right? I don't really know one, to be honest. Um, I know this is a popular question, but what's the best clone to Baccarat Rouge 540? Man, this is an endless uh, pit. So for me personally, I love Barricat Rouge 540. That's my personal taste. Barricat Rouge 540 for me. Uh, do you know a good clone for Tom Ford's Amber Absolute? No. Sorry, bro. Alambra Kismet is a great, great tuxedo clone. I agree. 
mm, mm, let's see. Loved your video, Lanwee video, but damn, can I find it in the States? I, I know, Jay. Uh, you're talking about Poker Face, right? Check out Salvatore Ferragamo's F Black. It gets relatively close. It does the whole peppers and lavender a little bit heavier, but that in turn uh, translates into a better performing fragrance. So Salvatore Ferragamo F Black. That's also an excellent version as well. Top three Chadlaj fragrances are going to be uh, Epoque Artistique, Chadlaj Blue, and uh, we'll leave one for good luck. <laughs> Black Phantom is the top three of all time for me as well, bro. Seriously. Beast Mode Citrus Fragrance. Beast Mode Citrus. You're putting me in a little bit of a pickle there, bro. Beast Mode Citrus is a little bit harder. Uh, this one has, this is a Beast Mode Freshie for cheap, right? Or you don't, you didn't really ask for cheap. So, hmm. Personally, I would say Ahmed Al Maghribi's Qaf. It's a Beast Mode Fresh fragrance at least in my collection. But if you want Beast Mode Tropical, Honor and Glory is pretty beastly and tropical. Um, let me see what else I can offer you for Beast Mode Freshies. Um, yeah, it's not going to be any of those. So yeah, there you go. Beast Mode and Fresh isn't really that common, bro. Isn't really that common. Unless it has a little bit more. My Latafa card is outrageous. <laughs> Budget, Dre. Budget. <laughs> Nitro Dumont Blanc, Black Longevity. Go for Black Intense. Uh, the Black, the original one, I get about six to seven hours. The Intense, I get about eight hours. What do you think about Blanche fragrances? I just ordered uh, Byredo. I just ordered Byredo. Byredo has some good fragrances. I'm not sure exactly what you meant by that question, bro. Sorry. All right, let's see. Thoughts on Electimus Octavian. Very different. Very different. Wasn't my cup of tea. Best Nishani Ani clone. I have the clone war done for that one, bro. Go check it out. There's quite a few of them. There's quite a few. There is one that I find to be more of a twist, but this is a more wearable version that even women can get away with. And this is called Satwa by Arda Zafaran. It's uh it's not going to be necessarily the closest. It kind of tones down the ambergris and increases the vanilla. So it's a creamier version of Nishani's Ani. Let me type this for you really quick. More of a twist, but easier to wear. Oud Lemon Mint is a beast citrus. It is a citrus, but it has a lot of lavender in that one as well. So I wouldn't really call that one too much of a freshie for me personally, for me personally. Otherwise, I mean, Instant Crush would be considered for me a freshie for me. Um, Oud Lemon Mint. I have it right. This is Lemon. Lemon Lime is also pretty strong. Where's Oud Lemon Mint? Oh, here it is. If I'm not mistaken, this has lavender in it. Let me double check really quick. Regardless of the fact it's not my favorite. I know a lot of people love this fragrance as well. No, there is no lavender. What is it? Oh, there's oud in this one. So it's got lemon, almond, black pepper, coriander, oud, patchouli, jasmine. Then there's leather. So this I wouldn't really classify too much as like a freshie. For me, when, when somebody asks me like, what's a beast mode freshie? I'm thinking fragrances in a similar vein as like uh, Versace Mano Fresh. I'm thinking fragrances like Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. Light Blue Intense lasts for a long time. But a lot of people report this like eggy vibe. Um, for me, I would classify Amwajdia as something that's in that category of like fresh fragrances. Prada Loam is relatively fresh. Uh, Prada Loam Low gives me at least eight hours. You know, actually, Salvatore Ferragamo Womo Casual Life gives me about eight to ten hours. So Womo Casual Life by Salvatore Ferragamo lasts a hell of a long time. Uh, so there you go. L1212 Blanc Eau Fraiche. The L1212 by Lacoste, Blanco Fresh, that gives me 10 to 12 hours. It's like lemon and vetiver. So there you go. There is a couple of actually pretty strong freshies. And then, I mean, obviously, I mean, whether you like it or not, Sauvage Eau de Parfum lasts for me all day. So there are some freshies. Those are the freshies I think of when people ask just straight up, I want something fresh. Even YSL Y Eau Fresh is a, a, lasts a pretty long time as well. Um... Bro, show us what you do. What you do, I just burn it, bro. I just burn it. A lot of people are like, you literally bought wood for five racks. Yeah. Even my family are like, what the hell are you gonna do with it? And I just, I don't know. 
I'm going to gift it. I'm going to gift a lot of it, actually. Peace from the West Indies. Peace back to you, brother. Is that leader by Dira at your back? Which one, bro? No. How many fragrances do you have? Oh, my, that's a lot. I don't even want to talk about it, bro. No, I'm just messing. I've got, I've got a lot. I love it. Yo, breaking an hour mark. Hey, we're holding strong. All-time favorite in the entire collection. Honestly, one of my favorite ones has to go to Killian's Black Phantom. Killian's Black Phantom. You absolutely annihilated with this. Another relatively new one that I am absolutely in love with. Inflamé by Givenchy. The ingredients in this include absolute after absolute after resinoid. It's expensive, but you get everything that you're paying for. And more so recently, I'm getting hooked on these superous fragrances. My first addiction, seriously, addiction was Smesh. Unbelievable. You really got to get your nose on this. Amber fragrances. I, I've recently discovered this last month. Some of the best amber fragrances ever that I've ever gotten my nose on. Once upon a time, I thought that Tango was the best. Uh, where is it? Mosque Milano Tango was the best amber fragrance. And while it is an amazing amber fragrance, I then, after that, got my nose on Clive Christian's Blonde Amber, which was an absolute game changer. Where are you? This right here. Absolute game changer, especially in the air. But then I found some fragrances that do something like this and maybe even a little bit more intoxicating for less. We're going to talk about them very soon. And I bought two of them. Uh, wait, no, I didn't. I bought two. That's another one. But there are two. There's one more that I need to get or want to get from this one. This right here. It's called Amber Iris by EPC. Code Aromatics. <laughs> Code Aromatics 10. But no, on a serious note. Wow. Wow. Macerate, real or a myth? Absolutely real, Silverino. Depends, though. If you're buying designers, niche, etc., they do that process for you. If you're buying some of these cheapies, you definitely need to allow them to sit, and they mature more so than macerate. I'm getting Latafa Esed and Latafa Qaad al Fursan. Can you recommend one more Latafa, please? Um, yeah, definitely you want to get this one. It's called Sheikh al Shiyukh Final Edition. You absolutely want to get this one if you don't have a YSL YEDP. 17 bucks. Anything close to Pride Alone? Yes. My favorite Ajmal fragrance that I was talking about. Evoke Gold. Evoke Gold. Pride Alone, the original. Stronger, actually. Stronger. Let me put you guys on a, a, a little cheapy here. That's a hidden gem. You can find this for around $20 to $25. And this is also by Astaf, if I'm not mistaken, which is a subsidiary brand of Latafa. It's called Oud Tamin. Addicting. This is like intoxicating stuff. This smells like Killian's intoxicated, but with more like vanilla and just, it's so unusual with some fruits, maybe some, I don't know what's in here, but it's amazing. I'm going to write this down. This is a hidden gem. That's just unreal. Scent profile. Oud Tamin by Asdaf. It smells like. Killian's intoxicated with some citruses or fruits or just something unusual. And it's amazing. Addicting as well. I think you can find it for around 25 bucks. I haven't tried Evoke Midnight. The Han Ocean Rush is so hard to find in Australia. Sorry, brother. Hope it becomes available soon, man. Evoke Gold smells alcoholic. Mine smells pretty fine, bro. Let me spray it. <coughs> Maybe in the opening, sure, but give it like two minutes. Honestly, mine is fine. And pretty quickly, actually. But mine's been sitting for a while. So it depends on how long yours has been or you've had yours. Oh, this is good. And Nashama EDP is so dang on good. Yeah, man. For the price, it's unreal. My favorite fragrance YouTubers. I, I, I like and respect all of them, honestly. Um, they're all, they're, you know, everybody's, I respect people that do this. I like them all. 
Is After Effect the best clone? Yes. <clears throat> Seriously, though. I like Cuba. I like Ashton. I like Curly. I like them all, man. Um, who else? Joy Amin is excellent. I mean, a lot of good people in this space. A lot. Liquid Brune should be coming out within the next month. I swear to God, if they make me keep saying this next month, next month. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, can't get rid of this metallic smell with my Armof Siage. You're not going to get rid of it because that's exactly why I don't like Silver Mountain Water. It has this metallic key. See, some people can pick it up and some people don't really pick it up. I think it comes with the pedigree of Silver Mountain Water. And that's the exact note that gives me a headache. And that's why any fragrance that uses pedigree, it kills me. I can't do it at all. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Silver Mountain Water has pedigree and green tea, bro. You're not going to get rid of that metallic smell. <clears throat> You like me, Antoine, can't handle that, that note. I agree. Johnny BOC Family TV is the best perfume YouTuber. Welcome, brother. <laughs> Rehan Ocean Rusher Festival Night. Oof. Festival Night is no joke. Ocean Rush. Ocean Rush, for sure. Festival Night is always going to be there, bro. It's always going to be there. Uh, Ocean Rush gets sold out, like, consistently. Give me some options, Monkey Man. What would you, what would $40 and below fragrance would you prefer? Bro, I've got so many. Give me some options and I'll help you pick some. <clears throat> Great Vetiver clone. The only one that I know of is this Just Jack. It's called, um, I think it's called Great Vetiver by Just Jack. It's in our Moth subsidiary company. It's from Sterling Perfumes, I believe. The Tava Caprice is very good. It's an excellent fragrance. Khamra Kahwa is, is a great fragrance as well. It takes the original, adds a little bit of bold black coffee. Simple as that. Hanan, I highly recommend that you check out the description, all of my videos. There's plenty of websites where you can find every single fragrance that we talk about. With, uh, yeah, just check those out. <clears throat> this is a great Greenwich Village twist. The Elite Avenue London. Um, metallic notes are horrible in fragrances. Yeah, you know, some people actually really like that, man. Some people actually really like that. Uh, Ganymede has like this mineral, slightly metallic note to my nose. Um, Gumin has that. Emir has that. Silver Mountain Water has it. A lot of people love that stuff, man. Abercrombie and Fitch Fierce for me has that as well. Percival has it a little bit. Uh, Amber and Leather for Mason Alhambra or Velvet Oud for a good ombre leather clone. Much love from Brazil. Love you too, Gabrielle. Amber Leather, whatever is newer. And I think Amber and Leather is newer, bro. Amber and Leather. Aftermath is good, but it's not as good as After Effect. No. From Indonesia, what's up, man? Y'all got that Kopi Luwak, man. That coffee is no joke. <laughs> uh... Would you buy one designer fragrance or a couple of dupes with that money? Hanana really depends on what the designer fragrance is. If it's like your run of the mill, uh, it depends on what, how many uses you're going to get. If it's a fragrance that's a specialty, you don't think you're going to wear it on like a daily, I'd go for the dupes because you can cover a lot of seasons. If it's like a fragrance like YSL YEDP and you just want that as like a daily banger, I would personally just go for that if your budget allows it. But in almost 80% of the cases, I'd say go for the clones. Depends on how close the clones get though. Depends on how close. For YSL YADP, you can find a lot of clones that are actually stupidly close. But if it's something that it's like, okay, they're just okay clones, I would say save for the original. Nah, bro, you're the best, Johnny. I wasn't kidding. Oh, bro, I don't even want to talk about how much I spend on the Dubai tour. <laughs> I'm not going to... I, I honestly, Jay, I haven't tried any of his fragrances, man. Just the availability makes it really hard. Makes it really hard. Should I buy Spectre, Ghost Spectre or Ghost Wraith? They're both excellent fragrances, but if you're going to start with one, I would go with Spectre Ghost. It's like vanilla cake, man. Ocean Rush or Pacific? Mmm, Pacific is going to be an easier, a, a, a more mass appealing fragrance, more compliment worthy. <clears throat> Let's 
he gonna start rapping this bad boy up? Um, since you don't know of a clone for Tom Ford, Amber Absolute, do you have something very similar that you can recommend? Honestly, Jay, I don't. I'm sorry, bro. I wish I could help you with that one, bro. I'll get my nose on it. Amber Absolute. I will get my nose on it. Amber Absolute. Okay. Um, Joe, how do I know? The other ones, yes. Imperia is hard to find in India. Guys, get it together. Julia has a gun, not a perfume. Masculine or feminine? Feminine. Feminine. I've heard Caprice has barely any alcohol to it. I find it hard to believe at $35. I know, bro. I know. But it's actually really damn good. It's actually... They, listen, man. These cheapies have come a long way. <laughs> They've come a long way. <clears throat> Mm -mm -mm. Sorry, guys. I'm just scrolling down. Uh, Black Panther by Alexandria Fragrance is an excellent, excellent tiger. Excellent. I need to get my nose on Johara. I hear you, bro. Ahmed, I'll do my best. Najdia Tribute. I haven't tried that one, the black one. There is, and it's a part of the, I'm looking at it right now. It's Iridia, I-R-I-D-A. By fragrance world french avenue it's not out yet bro i'll talk to you soon about it bro have you made a fragrance uh just reviewing arabian oud al farid if not what are your thoughts on it no i have not done it yet i still haven't done a like dedicated wearing for it where i've actually like worn it or respected it for what it is and really break it down but for the most part right off the rip it smells like oud and spices like simple as that uh it's much more uh, unique than something like Oud Saffron combination. It's a much more masculine take on Oud Saffron combos. I think it's one of the best Oud Spice combination, personally. Stay tuned, Brandon. I'm going to put this one up for like on my to wear review shelf, actually, because this does deserve a full length review. So there you go. I just put it there. And in the next two days, I'm going to be rocking it. So I want to rock Raif this week, Al Farid, and. Um, there was one more. I don't remember which one it was. What is Zanzibar a clone of? Not sure, Reginald, but it's going to be tropical stuff. You can pre-order it now, though. On the top of dash, USA.com, code aromatics. By Rado Biblia Tech. Is it feminine? I would say so. I would say so. It's a very strange DNA. I think that's the, uh, that's the leather saffron. I don't remember exactly, and I don't want to speak out of ignorance. I'm sorry. But from what I remember... It is relatively feminine, from what I remember. Bro, do you know a good mouth-watering cheapy? Uh, Mountain Weave Pear is still good. It is still good. It is still very good. Mouth-watering cheapy, honor and glory for me is mouth-watering. But it's done in like a pineapple way, so tropical. Affection, mouth-watering as well. Um, what else? What else? <clears throat> yeah, that's what I have on my table right now. 100% spectral. I think any teenager will love that blue electric DNA. Personally, I think. You might be safer going with the YSL YEDP DNA, though, for a teenager. The Sheikh al Final Edition. Just because that has more of like a sexy vibe. <clears throat> the code works site-wide. I love Honor and Glory, too. Very different. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this live stream. Um, my throat is closing up from all of these fragrances. My asthma is kicking, <laughs> flaring like crazy. Um, but yeah, latafa-usa.com. Use code aromatics to save some money. The giveaway for this fragrance right after this live stream, make sure to put hashtag aromatics in the, in the comment section. No space in between both. Like the video. Make sure to subscribe. It's going to be a USA giveaway. Full bottle of Love Don't Be Shy by Killian inspired by the best one on the market today. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and until the next one, have an awesome week.